Hi everyone, and welcome to my presentation on the topology optimization and experimental validation of a selectively stiff multi-stable morphing wing section. Morphing wing design is constrained by the trade-offs of carrying aerodynamic loads while remaining shape adaptable and having a lightweight construction. We can bridge the gap between these trade-offs by introducing the concept of selective stiffness. If we think of selective stiffness in the terms of the classical buckling beam problem, once we reach a critical load, we enter the nonlinear post-buckling regime, where we traditionally would observe a symmetric bifurcation. With a design that incorporates selective stiffness, we may adapt the stiffness of the structure to exhibit an unsymmetric bifurcation. This effect would provide a means to switch the global stiffness of the structure when the mission requirements demand it. Geometrically, bistable trusses with an invertible arch have demonstrated potential as selectively stiff bistable embeddable elements. By everting the arch region of the truss, the structure switches to a second stable state that exhibits a considerable reduction in stiffness when loaded along its axis. These truss-like elements are then conveniently embedded into a morphing rib geometry to achieve two objectives. Number one, provide a means to switch on demand the global stiffness of the structure, and two, achieve a passive camber morphing effect due to the stored strain energy from inverting the arch of the bistable element. This morphing rib topology may be used in the construction of a morphing wing with multiple stable states and capability to discreetly change the global stiffness of the wing depending on the flight maneuver. In this work, we have considered two distinct flight conditions based on current UAV design trends to create a topology optimization scheme that yields an optimal compliant rib and optimal location for the bistable elements. A genetic algorithm was selected as the optimization algorithm, while a Delaunay triangulation algorithm was used to generate the internal truss topology. A 2D aeroelastic loop is embedded into the optimizer to evaluate the aeroelastic response of each individual in the population at 15 meters per second and 35 meters per second. These flight conditions have a lift coefficient requirement of 0.8 and 0.147 respectively. The optimizer objective function is designed to maximize the lift to drag ratio of the low speed condition maximize the lift variation between the flexible and stiff configuration, and minimize the actuation requirements of the MFC actuators about each stable state. The results show that an optimized topology can achieve a lift to drag ratio of nearly 100 in the low speed flight condition while still being able to maneuver and achieve its lift requirement on the faster, on the faster flight condition. A stiffness reduction of 3.5 times was observed, which also allows for the design of a compliant morphing rib with minimal actuation. An experimental wing section demonstrator with two compliant ribs was manufactured to gauge the potential of this morphing wing concept. From the preliminary results, we observed that the wing section does not exhibit aeroelastic instabilities when switching between stable states, even at wind speeds of 30 meters per second. The demonstrator is also capable of achieving a lift increase on average of 0.7 newtons just from the passive camber morphing effect. And additionally, the drag of the wing section can be dropped by up to 0.09 newtons by switching from the stiff to the more efficient flexible configuration. The future direction of this work includes further experimentation with MFC actuation and controllability about each stable state. We also plan to manufacture a full half wing model to be tested in an RC model aircraft. This concludes this small presentation, and we would like to give our special thanks to the Air Force Office of Scientific Research for their support and guidance in this research endeavor.